Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And today's roundtable podcast is going to be fun, fun. We've got the usual suspects, Bearland Aaron. We've got Mimi, the terrorist hunter Schmidt. We've got the Zen master, Mike Zeno, the technician, Eric Peterson. We've got Jeannie. Jeannie, you got to give you a nickname. What's your nickname, Jeannie? I don't know. We got to figure one out. I know what it is. It's Good God, Great Sex, Jeannie Morrow. <laughs> you never podcast. Oh Kate, the big papa. And of course, you know him, you love him. Scott Todd, scotttodd.net, landmoto.com. And most importantly, you're not automating your Craigslist and your Facebook postings, postingdomination.com forward slash the land geek. Today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. September Flight School is almost filled up. Learn more. Go to thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Speak to the Zen Master or Dude Buddy, Scott Bossman, and uh, learn more about flight school. So, Scott, not Scott, Mike, let's just get into it. We got a big round table coming up. Yes. Um, or actually, by the time this goes out, no one's going to, they're going to hear it next week. So, if, you've missed, if you missed this week's round, this week's nightcap, and you're listening to this podcast, you got to go back and listen to it because it's going to be. You're going to still be recovering. <laughs> so tell us what this week's nightcap's all about. The one that just passed. <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be the nightcap, the musical. So there's going to be at this point, people listening, they probably now realize that I have an incredible voice. Not, but I, I'm just not afraid to bring it out there. And by the way, I was going to go with the go giver with Jeannie. I like the go giver. Like you I know, know what? I got d- the podcast, I, but she's the go giver. You know the book there. She totally reminds me of that. Jeannie, good guy, great sex, more of the of the go giver. Actually, I've had a lot of people listening to our podcast after you, you know, advertised me. But but I I got to go with go giver. I don't want to advertise my podcast on Langi because this is this is what I love. Oh, it is a great podcast. I I vouch that uh, her Jeannie and Kurt sound amazing on the air. Like they have crisp voices. They get along so well. So I know we're not here to promote it, but that's an awesome podcast. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, you know, but it's interesting because like they get along like, a, like, a, like, isn't like the cliche. There's nothing more boring than a happy couple. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you know, we, that's why we do the podcast. Cause we try to keep it really exciting. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> All right. I digress. Tell us about nightcap, Mike, or the, the, Mike, the nightcap that just went on about the musical well, basically the whole idea behind it was that uh since this is already going to be is basically uh you know songs that relate to the business so you know maybe you change the word love to land i mean i don't want to give well it's already going to be out by then but i don't want to give it away to you guys because this is time and I, and I and i've already been told that we're going to uh have alex rebeck uh, aka scott todd's going to show up after flight school and so that's exciting and and by the way this may be the week that if you're listening to this, that Scott Todd may be back on the nightcap. The first time we had to use an interpreter because Be Live, which I'd never recommend, was uh, pretty horrible. And so we couldn't hear Scott. So we had Matt Forbes interpreting. It was really awkward. So this night, that you're listening to this week could be the week. Uh, it, it's coming, right, Scott? You promised to come back on so we could treat you right. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I told you I'd come back, but I'm not singing. I'm just telling no, you. No, no, no. This is the week after. The, this has already happened. We're talking the about now this week. Okay, I'm with you. No problem. We're gonna have you come on and critique it. Oh, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe maybe, I, uh, maybe Tate and I need to like like be panelists. Like if you could just bring us Ooh, in as panelists, yeah. and we, like Simon Cowell and uh, uh, yeah. Uh, That's yeah, a good yeah. idea. I like that a lot. I'm in Cap and Tate's Paula Abdul. Just saying. <laughs> Whoa. First of all, Tate doesn't know who Paula Steve. Abdul is. <laughs> He's Googling it right now. Yeah. Paula yeah. Abdul. Like, is that Mel B? Never, never heard of this girl. Yeah. Well, I, I think the reason why we're kind of doing it, or we did it, is just kind of shake it up, get new energy before the uh, fall, because it is school. And I, I know that's kind of part of the things we're talking about today is the back to uh, back to the uh, basics, right? We're talking about land investing and basics. So, you know, we're trying to just reset things with the nightcap and that that's our way of getting, you know, just like kids are going back to school right now and they need to reset themselves from that summer energy over to that fall energy. So um, yeah, it's just kind of shake things up and get ready for a transition. I always love it. Like I'm, I'm in my yard right now. That's why I got the tapestry behind me because I'm outside and 
it's like I could feel fall in the air, right? I could smell the pumpkin lattes, the pumpkin beer. It's all coming. So this is uh, New England uh, in the fall. But anyway, it's a good change of energy, right? So it's time for to, I think we talked about what, a few weeks ago, the August lull and how sometimes that can be tough. But here we are rolling into the fall. So I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, it broke 106 the other day here and it felt just like fall. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God, like a brick wall. Whack. Hey, Mark is right, it did. It's Why can't I hear him talking? It's all the heat in the middle. I can't even hear people talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I only had to take two showers yesterday instead of three. And uh, it, just, it just feels like fall here. Right, Gina? Yeah, it's under 100 today. It's under 100. I'm a pumpkin. Yeah, I mean, we're all wearing long sleeves. You know, the, the leaves the leaves aren't dying now. Look at they're, they're falling out. Of, yeah, look at they're all falling yeah. around me right now. Yeah, you know so, what that means. Um, Time to get the wooden sword out. As before, I go into a deep <laughs> seasonal depression. Um, let's segue into back to basics, like back to school. So I'm just going to ask the panel. As we go through our topic, um, when you think of back to basics in the land business, what's the first thing you think of? Barely and Aaron. I'm like the McLaughlin group. Mailing Barely and Aaron. marketing. Mailing that's, and marketing. That's the basic basics. The basic basics. Breathe in the mailing, breathe out the marketing. I get to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Mimi, besides mailing and marketing, what do you think of when you think of basics? I think it's really easy to get distracted by the current fire. Oh, I told so-and-so I'd get their note paperwork out by yesterday, right? So uh, for me, it's reinforcing what I intend my schedule to be so that I keep um, the distractions at a minimum and I'm still making forward progress on my biggest goals, right? So if I have, uh, of course, mailing and marketing is always my biggest priority. But once that's out of the way, what then what do I do next? Well, am I working on an automation project, right? Don't let these other little fires get in my way. Stay focused on what my what my weekly schedule is. I love that. So Mimi, do you do you plan your next day the night before or do you do it in the morning? Like I how do, do you, in the morning. you do it in the morning? Yeah, you know, I don't use a fancy app. I just have a book and it's got my top priorities and the calls and emails I have to make. And so I just kind of organize my day before I get started. What are you laughing at me for, Eric? I, I, I'm laughing at Mark. Look at him. I mean, He's like, a book? What's that? Book? Yeah, I, I showed you all this. I have all these books. So yeah, I get organized with it that did, way, and then did I have you to find that in like a like a like a museum. Like, where do they sell these things? No, now that I don't wear a suit every day, I can like everything's Lily Pulitzer has all this color and crazy pattern. I'm having such a good time, <laughs> and so, all my suits are sitting up there gathering dust. You know, I, I haze, but I'm really enjoying my rocket book. So I think there is something about pen to paper. That's that's, like that's the blues that's, clues book. The blues clues book. <laughs> All right, Mike Zeta, when you think of back to basics, <laughs> I'm skipping you, Mike. Eric, <laughs> what do you think of when you think of back to basics? I think of uh, county research. Um, that's where it all starts. So when I think of basics, that's what comes to mind. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking that as well, not to steal your thunder. Go giver, Jeannie Morum. What do you think of when you think of back to basics? Well, I agree with everybody. Um, but for me, I have to create momentum. So I listen to motivational speakers in the morning. For example, Ed Mitel. I don't know if you've ever heard his podcast, but he's like a Tony Robbins and he is good. And I had, I wanted to bring him up because Mark, I think if you've never heard him, I think you'd really like him because he talks about um, in business that exposure is more important than knowledge. And that goes back to what you keep talking to us about marketing and, and mailing and mailing. It's, it's about volume. So you can, you can educate yourself on Land Geek all you want, but it's about mailing and marketing, you know, and I thought it was pretty powerful. So I, so I like to listen to motivational speakers as I'm getting ready to do mailing or marketing because it keeps me motivated, especially all the crises I have had to go through this, this year. I've got to keep up. I got to keep, I got to stay positive. I, I love it. So his name is Ed Hytel? Mytel. So it's Mitel, M-I-T-E-L-L? 
M Y T E L L. And this oh, man is now worth like 40 million. And he came out of nowhere in the last year doing this podcast. And he is, he, he's like a Tony Robbins, but he, he communicates in a different way that if you don't understand, if you don't grasp it with Tony, you can really get it with Ed. He's, and he has so much information. You're going to only want to listen to like 15 minutes at a time because it's a lot to digest. Oh, it is Ed Milet. Oh, is Milet? Milet. No, no, my, it's M Y T E L L. Well, I just Googled him and Ed Milet came up. Was it M? Oh, okay. Maybe it is. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Millionaire mindset, what everyone's struggling needs to know right now. Um, broke to 400 million. You're right. I just saw him. Yeah. Okay. Milet. Sorry about that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Ed Milet. I'll check him out. Um, Mike Zeno, what do you think about when you go to basics? Get back to basics. Oh, wait, you're on mute. Here you go. Oh, well, you can maybe think of back to school. And I, I think flight school, I think the professor down below the diagonal to me, it's uh, Scott Todd. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, everybody's going back to school. We have this flight school starting in September. I think of Scott Todd and, and flight school because it is the fundamentals, right? It's, it's, it's the basics about how to really get set up, up and running. I always tell people it's like college level one-on-one land investing, how to be an effective land investing. So investor. So he's like the uh, professor. Of the, I, that, <laughs> it's, like, it's a compliment. He's looking at me like I'm saying something wrong. That's a compliment. I'm just thinking of, I'm just thinking of the professor from the Gilligan's Island, man. I don't no. know. Not <laughs> Marianne. No, no. Uh, is that, I mean, is maybe that we should name? change, change his nickname mean? from the brain, the professor. Is, well, he is, is like a college level professor. This is 101. This is land investing 101. This is how you become a, an effective land investor. This is how you go through Scott Todd's college course in land investing. Flight school. Flight school. All right. All right. Tate Litchfield, what do you think about? Uh, I'm going to agree with Eric on this one and go county research. You know, you mess that up. You're going to be in, I don't know, you're going to stunt your growth and your, your opportunity to progress. So I agree with Eric on that one. And then obviously the M&Ms can't go wrong there. That's, that's the basics for me. And then, you know, just doing it, staying organized. Yeah, absolutely. So, so oh, go ahead, Mimi. I think that that's very strong, the county research comment, as I've noticed in the flight school um, office hours, people ask me questions. Do I remail if I don't do well in an area? And I think there's a perception that once you figure out what the your your offer is going to be, that it will always be that way, right? But the markets change. I've had um, my first market, I started out, I would get deals for $2,000, and now I'm having people, wholesalers want to buy my properties for $6,000. Those are just original offer letters coming for three times the price. So in two years, right, the, uh, the price that I would offer has changed significantly. So I think county research is very important because the market is going to change. Yeah, go ahead, Bearland Aaron. Oh, you're on mute. Go ahead. Another way to get back to basics, especially for folks out there listening, is um, we've got, you know, if you have access to all those mastermind calls, you know, because they're, you know, um, start listening to those, go, go through them, you know, skip parts that you know well and, and uh, really review some of the answers and some of the suggestions on, on some of these easier topics that, um, you know, that go into the basics and get different perspectives on that. That's a great way to get back to your basics. Yeah, I, I think that's great. Uh, Scott Todd, besides what we just discussed, what's your take? I would just say that the, um, the, the difference is that, or the thing that you want to focus on is, really, I mean, we've talked about the basics and everything. It's really about just taking action, right? Like that's really the basics is just taking action because it's so easy to like say, well, I just need more education or, I mean, as a human, if you ever feel like you know all about the topic, well, then you, you better watch out because you're about to get slapped by <laughs> the great wall because you don't know everything about every single topic. It's always a, a new uh, learning process. And it, I mean, the other thing is if you're not, if you're not running the new uh, obstacles, then you're not like expanding, you're not growing enough, right? Like, because there's no way that you should know everything about every aspect of what you're doing. You're never a complete expert 
And if so, like I said, you're, you're, you're either like stagnant or, or you're, you're just not growing. But at the end of the day, we can give you all the education that you need, but nothing will happen. You can have all the education in the world, but nothing will happen, nothing at all, unless you take action. So you've got to execute and take action. That's really the basics for me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to, uh, to argue any of those points. I, I, think, I think that's right. I think, um, you know, taking that action and, and even having, like, you know, even weaving in what everybody said, um, because, like, I think what Jeannie said was really important, because if you're not in a, in, a, in a state where you can even take action because life has knocked you down in some way, right, that it first even starts with just that self-care, right? Kind of waking up and getting yourself in a, in a mindset where you're motivated first to take action. Then going back to that point, okay, what's the first right action to take? And in our business, that basic is going to be, well, what county do I go to? Why am I going to that county? And then going to that county research. And so I think it all sort of weaves in together. And then what, you know, Bearland Aaron and, and Mimi said, which is, okay, now you got to get your mailing out. You picked your county. Let's go to back to the basics. Let's get our mailing out, um, you know, pricing. And then we were going to start the marketing piece and, and doing all that and, and not getting sort of overwhelmed with the details of the business and, and uh, you know, as much fun as it is for us to talk about, you know, a Zapier integration, um, you know, sometimes th for some people that might just be too much, like go back to basics. So I, th I think it's a, it's a really great topic and um, just a reminder that as we sort of go back to school, like think about school, right? All it is is repetition. And it's just kind of going through the basics and they add one more layer of complexity, but they sort of always go through review and go through the basics and, uh, and do all that. So Mike Zeno, are we good on that, on the basics? By the way, I, I hear so. something in the background. You guys hear that? Someone listen to the radio? radio? What is that? It could be the wind here in New England fall. It could be the wind. I don't know. <laughs> Bearline Aaron, are we, are we good? Yeah, well, I think we're great. Yeah, I think it is the wind. I'm going to mute Mike. All right. I think I'm, I'm hearing noises. So we are now at the point in the podcast where we're going to ask for your tip of the week, a website, a resource, a book, perhaps a quote, something actual for the art of passive income listeners to go improve their businesses, improve their lives. I believe it's Mike Zano's turn. Mike? Is it not your turn? Wait, um, can you... not, he can't talk. Look at that. He can't talk. He's not on mute. <laughs> right. He's not on mute. <laughs> he's not on mute. And yet he's actually mute. Yeah. Uh, Unbelievable. That was funny. That was funny. That was awesome. Oh. You did it pretty good, though, man. I was starting to buy it. Now I'm going to start watching the video podcast. <laughs> I think we throw these up on YouTube and, and, the, and the Mastermind Group. Mike, are you not ready for your, your tip of the week? Well, or is I'm it not going to lie. It was really Eric's turn. Is it Eric's turn? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I can't lie. It's Eric's turn. And I don't want to steal his thunder. What, far <laughs> be it for me. I got you, Mike. Away. I got you. Thank you. So um, we'll go with Buzz Sumo today um buzz sumo i think it's just buzzsumo.com is a kind of a research tool that you can use um if you're looking at developing content say um you know you're writing blog articles about land um you know trying to generate traffic to your website um using a tool like Bub buzz sumo might help you kind of determine what to write about next very good. Buzz Sumo. BuzzSumo.com. I think that's from uh, the App Sumo guys. Noah Kagan. I think it is. Yeah. Um, phenomenal. Phenomenal tip of the week. Well, I thought this was a, a really short and sweet and fun podcast. Mimi, what is so funny? 
Tate just put a link in the chat with a great new idea for how to use land. You can have a dog rescue. It was the first thing that popped up. I, I've used BuzzSumo and I typed in land and the first one that comes up is man adopts 45 dogs and sets them free across four acres of land. I, you know? You, you know, you have... You know what I'm thinking right now? A Florida man. Oh, uh, don't search it. I just did. There's some crazy ones that just came up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tate, do you want to tell everybody the, uh, the joke? I mean, I think everybody should know the joke already. It's just every time that something terrible happens, it seems to happen in the state of Florida. And the news articles always report it as a Florida man. So it's, the question, it's not even so much that it's always terrible. It's, yeah, just, it's just really crazy. weird things. Like I said, the other day I saw an article and it said a Florida man dies after he tried to microwave a microwave. What? <laughs> yeah, that one's right there in Buzz Sumo. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel oh, like man. where Scott lives is like for the intelligentsia. Like if you live in like Tampa, like you're, you're sort of outside that. that oh, no. Florida oh, no. Listen to this. Wait, listen to this. Right. Florida we man. Fair share of representation on the Florida man. Yeah, listen to this one. Florida tells Florida man tells cops he didn't drink while driving, only at stop signs. <laughs> Mark, just the other day in my city, the uh, the uh, they, they got video of a pickup truck going down the road, and they got grandma on the back of the pickup truck like on her wheelchair or whatever, like she's strapped down in the back of the pickup truck going down the road. <laughs> so yeah. I, I mean, By the way, look at Mike's face. He is so disturbed by <laughs> reading this article. I'm worried. We can't hear you, Mike. You're pretending to be on mute when you're really not. Oh, there's, some really, there's some really mean things on here. I don't like this thing. I'm getting out of here. This bad thing's Great in Florida. Tip, Eric. Great like that tip. Bad in Boston. Forget it. I mean, a Boston these are man. my people, man. These are my people. Don't mess with Scott oh. Todd. That's his people. <laughs> you know, you know what would be funny is I wonder if the default rate is higher, higher. In, in, on our Florida properties than any other properties. We should look at that. Um... I would say the the guy that or person that pays the down payment and then goes away and never shows up, that never happens to me in Florida, knock on wood, but happens on me much more frequently on Colorado. Oh, I get that all the time. Oh. That all the time. In, in Florida too? Uh, I don't do a lot in Florida, but I get it on a fair basis in Florida. Yeah. They they vanish. Aren't those the best though, the best deals? Like they, they make money. Them and they disappear. Like I got a 90 day guarantee. I give you your money back if you want it, but they don't even bother. Well, you know, the, it's interesting what people do when they're under the influence, right? Like, like I'm thinking Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Let's buy some raw land from Mimi. <laughs> just want to make a down payment. Split out of Florida, man. He's like, him and his wife were like, no, Florida, man, we're out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Pinella's park man Googled how to rob a bank, then robbed the bank. <laughs> Successfully? I don't know. <laughs> down it if it's in the they Googled it first. All right. We're, we're going down quite a scary rabbit hole here. Well, I want to thank the listeners. And um, I hope everybody enjoyed the, uh, the posthumous now musical nightcap. And I hope everybody's getting a lot of value. Uh, if you are, please do us a favor. You got to subscribe. You got to rate. You got to review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of the review to support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free the $97 passive income launch kit. Again, today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. Learn more. Go to thelandgeek.com forward slash training and uh, get on a call with uh, dude buddy Scott Bossman or the Zen master Mike Zeno. All right, should we should we do this, everyone? Ready? Um, I'm gonna unmute all. All right, one, two, three. Let freedom be free. Oh, it's
good. It's a good thing there's no gong show anymore. <laughs> I did it this time. Yeah, that was, that was I, I did. I did. That's you know. I I pulled a Mike Zeno. I lip. I lip. You just yep. you lip dubbed it. You lip synced it. <laughs> yeah, look at Mike. He's still he's still doing it. Maybe what we should do, Mark, is uh, for these podcasts. Maybe I should go out and find a, a Florida man featured and like. Invite him to the <laughs> Like a real life Florida man. <laughs> no, absolutely. Hey, Are you a Florida man? Hey, hey would know what to do. If I no, go I, find, like, I'd look like Mike on this call. I'd just be like, <laughs> maybe, hey, maybe for the next boot camp, I'm gonna have a Florida man there for you. <laughs> you, you could just stand in the corner. Of boot camp. You could just stand in the corner at boot camp. What's that? Oh, that's a Florida man. <laughs> well, the Vegas boot camp. Just stand there. <laughs> we, we should have like land geek merch. Where it's just like like t-shirt that just says like embrace the sock, let freedom ring, a Florida man, right? <laughs> hashtag team Eric. We can do that. No, we're killing the hashtags. We killed the hashtag teams. Amish guy. We did? Okay. Well, how about Tate's we're contractors? Talking. Can we have oh. Tate's contractor come to the Vegas boot camp? <laughs> Mimi, I care about you too much to give you his phone number. <laughs> That's how scary it was. Mimi already knows where he lives. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> on a list. Right. Through the database, she's got him, Tate. Yeah. yeah. She, she, she's like, just have Allison text me. I got her back. No kidding. That might be a good has her own back, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I think, I think Allison can take care of herself. She oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. If she For can sure. handle me. Absolutely. Um, well, I want to thank everybody and, uh, Jeannie, good, good round table. Good. Thank All you, right. Scott. Thank you, everybody. Good stuff. Thanks everybody. Um, well, we'll see everybody next week. All right. Good. All right.